Hey gang, Ed here and welcome back to day two of module four. Now the most important thing that you need to have uh, when you're starting to think about practicing market leadership is we've got to fuel up. Remember, fueling up is crucial. And I want to show you the um, cross-platform solution, which I think is absolutely best. This will work on pretty much any device you can possibly think of. Um, and I also want to mention the specific uh, strategy that I use, uh, even th because but we won't be teaching it in the challenge because it's a it's a Mac uh, only solution. Uh, it only works with the uh, the Macintosh. So I want to show you the one that works brilliantly everywhere, and in fact, it's working so well that I think I'm going to switch. Uh, but let's uh, get it get you all set out. And of course, you can see it on screen here. It's called Evernote. So first thing we want to, of course, set in train is download Evernote for the Mac, and that'll go and download. So we'll get that cracking. Okay, and I suppose the other thing we want to do is you want to go in and you want to create an account. Not very hard here, just add in all those details and off you go to register. Uh, while that's all downloading, I am going to go and uh, log into my account. Okay, for a start, you can see that there is a web client um, and you can put all sorts of interesting things up here. And what's fascinating, of course, about this client, check this out. If I type Vox and hit search, look at that. It brings up this actual picture, which is pretty phenomenal, which is a Voxing school. Look at that. And it recognizes Vox. It actually has uh, text attribution. So it's brilliant for taking photo notes and uploading them, uh, particularly with the versions of operating systems now, which multitask means that you can um, capture all of that sort of thing, which is just brilliant. So the most important thing about a note taking device is that it has to be absolutely everywhere. It's it's totally crucial. Now let's go and have a look at the uh, the application. You can see on the Mac it's pretty much as easy as dragging over to the applications folder and hitting install. Now it says would you like to install the Evernote Clipper plugin for Safari? You definitely want to do that. Now of course there's a Chrome extension as well which I'm going to show you how to uh, <laughs> set up next. Um, but you, here we go. We just I'm just going to sign in, and there's a great video here. Hi there. Welcome to Evernote. Evernote is my personal digital assistant, always at the ready to record my thoughts and capture interesting stuff I see. I use Evernote to create notes, clip interesting web pages, store my PDFs, and even snap photos. The best thing about Evernote is that my notes are available everywhere on my computer, my phone, and on the web. Okay, so let's so no leave where... that for the moment. I should say, of course, to start Evernote, it's it's completely and utterly free. And you can see it's going to be downloading that information before. So, you know, you can add in extensions everywhere. So let's have a look. Let's keep getting set up. Now, of course, I have this stuff on my uh, iPad as well and my iPhone. I have both apps there. And I also want to just go and go to the download section here because I want to, of course, get a web clipper. And you can see it's automatically detected I'm in Chrome. So literally all I have to do is click install and click install here. Uh, yes, thank you. Install. And there we are. Look at it. Check it out. It's got a clip. So if I go to an interesting site like the Julie and Julia project and I click my synchronizing, here we are, tags, uh, market leadership 365, uh, Ed Dale's notebook. You can have various notebooks, of course. We want to save the page URL. We want to add the text. Great example of market leadership. Now, this is really important. This Take the time to make some annotations because here's the thing. The whole point of note taking process is is to switch your mind. <laughs> sounds weird. Switch your mind from taking um, just passively reading in information to making it active. By doing this and by clicking this out, it has 
automatically and instantaneously made this more memorable in my mind than something if I just absorbed the information passively. Think about it, we absorb incredible information every day passively. But the stuff we remember is stuff we attach some sort of emotion to or some sort of action to. And so by just taking that, and how hard was that? Save, you know, uh, we might, uh, you know, we might uh, go back to our 365 portrait site. And let's click that one as well. 365, I'm going to tag it. Getting in the habit of tagging is a great idea because remember for our search, and you notice that it's re remembered, rec no, remembered my previous um, obvious tag. Um, another. Right, we press save. There we are, and we've captured them. Uh, now, if we go actually, if we go back into our site here and our application, we click sync, download, done, done, check this out. Yeah, here we go. And I can click on that. It's tagged market leadership. So if I ever search it, it's there. But the, the sweet thing is if I go to my iPad, uh, it's also all there as well. It, it's phenomenal. And of course, your Android phone or your iPhone. You know, whatever it happens to be, it's always there. And the cool thing is, is that we're capturing all this information. Now, another little tip is if it's a blog idea, if you may want, if you want to blog on this, you might want to click and add a tag and just add the little tag blog. Maybe blog idea. And of course, once you've added that tag, it, it will stay there um, and become and flow through all of your tags. So for example, uh, if I, I don't know, I'll go, uh, well, we'll just go to the Julie and Julia trailer and I'll click on this trailer one and I might put, you know, blog idea here, right? So I've got a uh, blog idea, uh, can use video for my blog post. and press save, which is fantastic. You know, so you might be using your uh, Google Reader, which again, we're gonna show you in a bit more detail coming up. But if there's a, a cool, uh, you know, website uh, or something that you wanna listen, you know, you can go and have a look and, and just, you know, instantly grab, you know, we can go to this site. I test faith he'll keep his job, he's dreaming. Uh, and I might put this, click this in here. You know, click uh, clip to Evernote, um, stirring Nez. Remember to stir Nez about this. And press save. You can also clip the whole URL, like the entire page, if you want to grab a copy of the entire page. The point of all of this, as we show all your activities during the week, that you start to build up this extraordinary repository. And what gets super, super exciting is that as you become uh, better, you're basically creating this encyclopedia as you go around and you add stuff and you can use photos you can click a business card and add a photo and do it that way and you know you can add it via Evernote on your iPhone for example so you can see here I've just uh, grabbed a picture of this uh, little uh, voucher because I'm going to take the kids to see uh, the Australia Zoo next month and uh, you know you can put that there now it's a really great idea to create various notebooks so that you can, um, as you create a new notebook, you can like divide up your niches. So you can have, you know, Ed Dale's notebook. We can go up to the file menu and we can go new notebook and we can just add a new notebook there and we could call it, uh, I could call it my, for example, uh, guitar notebook. So I'll save all my guitars in there and make it a synchronized notebook. Click create and we've got a new guitar notebook. So you can do it, you can have a notebook basically for each one of your sites. And look, if you love Evernote, there is a, a charge for the premium service. Um, but again, the great thing is, is if you like it and it's for you, 
then you've got the opportunity to be able to use it you know all the time and the cool thing about it too is that there are there are a heap of applications which work with it as well um, that sort of sync it in seismic does you can see uh, you know read it later works with it you know there's a whole bunch of you know different sorts of apps which work uh, together you can connect Evernote and Twitter you can email notes directly to Twitter something I love doing um, you know you can do all of those sorts of things send an item from an RSS feed to Evernote you know all of these look this huge numbers of things that you can do to really really um, expand it uh, so I love Evernote and that is because it's completely cross-platform works with everything that's the the process um, that we're recommending for the challenge and the important thing is you use it you get into the habit of using it and so it's important to have it on every device and the device that's why i think smartphones are so important so you've got got it on the device that you're using now i do want to show you how specifically i work um, and again because it's a mac only process it's not something we're teaching with the challenge but i just wanted to show you the site which uh, influenced it all uh, so for those of you who are mac iPhone, iPad based, uh, might be very interested in having a look at this. So uh, check this out. Okay, so the address, web address is there on screen. And this workflow with Merlin Mann, um, fascinating guy Merlin, but the tools I use here are, you know, in terms of Write Room, uh, which I use, and also, uh, where are we? We've got things, simple text, uh, Evernote you know, and Simple Note on the iPhone are the things that I use. Then Google Reader, Reader, and Instapaper. This is my entire Mac workflow with all of the links and all of the, the like the process and procedure. It's exactly what I use. And there's a great podcast which you can listen to um, to follow that up with. Again, optional because obviously it's a Mac only uh, process. Evernote, however, is completely cross-platform. So your task today, very simple. Get yourself set up with Evernote and start using it. Start making some notes. Grab some interesting information when you're fueling up and keep uh, hold of it. Remember to tag, remember to make notes. And by going from passive to active, you're going to be in a fantastic spot. So enjoy and I will speak soon.